키트 앞에서 좌회전입니다. 좌회전입니다. 600피트 앞에서 우회전입니다. 
This church. Pastor Matt. Welcome to the program. Man, it's a privilege. They write down everything Jesus said with perfect recall. Well, we find that Jesus promised uh, to send the Holy Spirit. And he said, when the Spirit of God comes, the comforter, the advocate, he's going to bring to your memory everything that I have said. Now there Jesus is promising perfect recall by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to read right over that and I don't catch it. Because here's Jesus laying the groundwork for, for how the New Testament would come about. He said the Holy Spirit is going to bring to your memory everything that I have taught. Jesus said. How did they do that? Because Jesus promised when the Comforter comes, the Advocate comes, the Holy Spirit comes, he's going to lead you into all truth. And he also said, he will show you things to come. Well, there Jesus is telling us that his apostles would receive prophecy, future prophecy. Because he will tell you things to come. So we got two things in that promise. He will bring to your memory what I've taught, what you've heard with perfect recall, and he will give you future prophecy. So we have Paul prophesying, we have Peter prophesying, we have the entire book of Revelation, John prophesying. Well, Jesus said that would happen. So we're coming up on a break. I hated to go that long, but I want us to really understand this. We'll be right back, Tom. Don't go anywhere. Brad, thanks for being with us. Stay tough. I want to hear your thoughts on this right after the break. We'll be right back. by 
to every man and answer and see the value of a Bible question and answer program, please prayerfully consider financially supporting our airing of the program. You can make your tax-deductible gift online at kdkr.org. Just click on the donate button. That website again is kdkr.org. If you prefer, you can mail a check. The address is KDKR, P.O. Box 913, Alito, Texas, 76008. Alito is spelled A-L-E-D-O. And the address again is KDKR, P.O. Box 913, Alito, Texas, 76008. Thank you. how we respond to persecution. We can respond in anger, or we can resolve to worship and amplify the values of God's kingdom. When the time comes, I pray that you and I will have the courage to make the right choice. Dr. David Jeremiah continues his series, The World of the End, next time on Turning Point. Weekdays, 9 a.m. on Bible School Radio, 91.3. This is Rob Randall, your host and teacher of the Invisible War radio program. The Invisible War is the study of God's Word on how to walk in Christ's victory in the spiritual battles we face against the powers of darkness. Join me every Sunday morning at 9, right here on KDKR and KYJC in Commerce, your station for life. And hello everybody, welcome back to To Every Man Answer, I'm Jeff Wickwire, sitting in for Mike Kessler today, and with me is Brad Dacus, the founder and president of Pacific Justice Institute, doing just incredible legal work for the kingdom of God all over the country, and it's so good to have Brad with us today, and right before the break we had a caller wanting to know uh, how certain things ended up in the Bible, uh, you know, how did, for instance, since none of the disciples were there in person when Jesus met the woman at the well in John chapter 4, how did they write about it? And I was sharing, it's very important that we as Christians understand this because the Word of God is really coming under attack in our day. Uh, a lot of skeptics, a lot of atheists uh, attacking the validity of it, so on and so forth. So I was simply sharing before the break what Jesus predicted in John 14, and I, I found the verse for you, Tom. It's John 14, 26, that the Helper, Jesus said, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Now, grab that because it matters. Jesus is telling the apostles, you're going to have Holy Spirit recall of what I have taught. That's how we know they could faithfully write down the things Jesus said and did. And then in John 16, Jesus said, and he, the Holy Spirit, will show you things to come. So there, Jesus, uh, let us know that the apostles were going to be receiving prophecy. And they, they did, particularly the writers of the epistles, Paul, Peter, James, John, and Jude. They all received prophecy. So, uh, Brad, you, uh, your thoughts on this? Yeah, a couple points. First, and I agree with what you just said wholeheartedly. You're absolutely right. God's word is so clear, and uh, on, on this point as to um, how they how they would know this. Uh, but another other point I want to make is that um, the scriptures don't say that everything that Jesus said is written in these gospels. Um, I think it's real important to note. So there's also a possibility, perhaps, that Jesus may have. Um, may have explained them the story later later on. They said, "Well, what's what's going on?" Jesus, let, Jesus may say, "Hey, let me tell you what happened." You know. So there's also that that 
that other dialogue that we don't always necessarily see. Um, but uh, and second, we also know uh, from an evidentiary perspective how reliable uh, these accounts are because even though they have different perspectives and, and different uh, angles, they, they agree with each other. And this is real important from an evidentiary perspective. Uh, they, uh, they, they, you, can, you can see the, 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 the angle or the perspective uh, is, 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 is a little different. Um, when you look at the, you know, the, the Gospels, for example, they're not exactly word for word, um, you know, precisely the same, which is really uh, a positive because it shows the, uh, the fact that these were just, just copies and someone said, okay, I'll stick my name, Matthew, you stick your name, Mark. Uh, but in reality, um, they, they have a different, different flavor, a different emphasis. Uh, one is all, you know, the, the royalty of, of Christ, the kingship of Christ, uh, and uh, the, the hum human nature of Christ, the, the, the God uh, nature of, of, of Christ, etc. So uh, I, I think from an evidentiary perspective, we can also just look at the, the, the multiple scriptures and how they agree with each other, how they complement each other, um, and show the, the common moving of the Holy Spirit in, in, a, in a wonderful way uh, to, uh, to uh, sort of sing, sing together in a very nice orchestra. Yeah, that's a great point. Tom, um, real important that um, every Christian gets this, and, and Brad is right. Jesus could have walked away from Samaria uh, after meeting with that woman a couple of days. He stayed a couple of days and left, and he could have told them how it all went down. He, he could have. But when you look at the New Testament in its entirety, uh, you go, how did they remember the teachings? How did they, uh, you know, how did they get all the detail right? How do we know that what Jesus said is actually what is written here? Well, because he promised the Holy Spirit would bring to their memory what he said. And as uh, Brad made the point, these were four different men, four different backgrounds. And when you look at the Bible in its entirety, uh, it's written over about 1,500 years, so a millennia and a half it took to write the Bible, 40 different authors or so, and yet, and, and 66 books, 39 old, 27 new uh, testament, and yet they all agree, they all have the same message, they come together like a beautiful orchestra with one major theme. God's plan of salvation through Jesus Christ, the Messiah. So it's an amazing book. Tom, I hope that, that helps. You, you, you did a really nice job. I appreciate what you do. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. All right, let's go to Jeff in Washington. Hello, Jeff. How can we help? Um, hey, I had a question about the Ezekiel 38, 39 war. Um, yeah. it has never happened in history so this is a yet to be fulfilled Bible prophecy then when you read the nations that will uh, join with Russia in a wicked confederacy against Israel uh, every single nation that Ezekiel names uh, are rapidly anti-Israel today they are all Muslim and um, they have all spoken of, or at least many of them have spoken of, their true desire to wipe Israel off the face of the map. Now with this latest uh, thing with Russia and Ukraine, we watched Russia attack Ukraine with the very character that Ezekiel describes Russia. Of course, Russia in Ezekiel 38 is Magog, Gog and Magog. 
And um, when, when you when you read of Magog's aggressive nature, cruelty, um, it, it's because it says that that Magog will come down with these uh, Confederate nations, these Muslim nations, and will attack Israel to take us and to take us. So they decide Israel's got something we want, so we're just going to go take it. Well, you see, you, you see the same character in the way Russia invaded Ukraine. They, we, we want it, we're just going to take it. And they have committed war crimes. They have slaughtered tens of thousands of innocent uh, civilians, uh, women and children. What they have done is tr they have tortured people. It is truly horrific. But what's important to note is we're seeing, again, the character attributes that Ezekiel attributes to Gog and Magog. Gog is the leader of Magog, so Gog is, you, you could say, the president of Magog, and Magog is Russia. So I'm not saying that Gog is Putin, but I'm saying uh, you get the idea. So that, to me, is what's interesting about Ezekiel 38. Now, whether or not uh, it happens before the rapture or after, I don't know. The only thing you've got to consider is Ezekiel says that when God judges Magog and these surrounding nations, I personally believe it'll be the end of Islam. Because these nations attacking Israel are all Islamic except Russia. All the rest that he names are Islamic. And they are annihilated. They are decimated. Not by Israel, but by the hand of God by a supernatural intervention of God. They are decimated. There's not much left to, to tuck tail and run. And so I believe it's Islam's last stand. But now, having said that, it says that there'll be burning weapons for seven years. There'll be so many weapons just laying around on the battlefield, just left because of the annihilation that happens to these different nations. Um, that they'll be burning them for seven years. Can you imagine a bunch of weapons being burned for the entirety of the seven-year tribulation period? I don't know. But I think that's something you've got to consider. But again, that to me, uh, Jeff, is the real uh, interesting thing about the Ezekiel 38 war. Whenever it does happen, we've sort of seen a dress rehearsal with the way they've come against, against Ukraine. They will do the same thing with Israel, uh, but they'll have help. They'll have a lot of help. This pan-Islamic confederacy that will be with them, and it will be something else to see the judgment of God fall on them. Uh, what an amazing, amazing uh, slice of history that is yet to happen, but sure seems to be on the horizon. Brad, your thoughts? Yeah, I think that's a, a great observation of, of uh, Russia and their relationship with uh, the Muslim world, and, and particularly with, with regard to Russia and Iran. Um, it's uh, they have a, a very tight relationship. Uh, Iran has recently provided uh, drones to Russia. Uh, you know, and then when you look at Iran and what's going on there, uh, you know, they're they're Shiite Muslims, which only about 15 percent of the world are, are Shiite Muslims. The rest are Sunni, but. Uh, the Shiite Muslims believe that in the end days, the you know, final days, that uh, the Twelfth of Man will come up out of the well. Um, but before that, there has to be a massive bloodshed, massive war and killing and death. And um, so that's what they're, you know, that's, that's sort of the, the end game for them. Uh, and uh, and so Israel stands in the way of there being, you know, I, you know uh, Islam throughout the world. And controlling the world and, and that whole uh, system. So um, they have a, a, not just an economic mandate. People say, well, why would they want to go after Israel? I and mean, what does Israel have? Well, they have some oil drilling taking place and all, but um, it's, there's this, a, 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 a theological uh, element to this that's, will, uh, that, that compels, at least, uh, uh, for example, like the Shiite Muslims uh, to uh, to wipe Israel off the face of the earth, and for that matter, Christians at the end of the day. So um, yeah. it's something you can't. Uh, it's really just practically uh, almost uh, inevitable. And it's interesting how Scripture uh, prophesies what we can see 
is uh, in many ways uh, an inevitability with regards to uh, the way the, uh, the, the core of the, of the Muslim world thinks in, in, uh, in the Middle East. Yeah, they, it may very well be mixed motives. Russia wanting to get something because that's, that's where they are ideologically. They're atheists. So they don't have theological motivations about much of anything. But the, the pan-Islamic uh, confederate nations that follow with them may have a theological motive. Uh, but nevertheless, it's going to happen. And uh, it's, it's going to be an awesome time in history. Um, people have asked me, well, where's America and all of that? You know, I just don't see America much involved uh, in that war at all. And... Um, so that's another topic though jeff i hope that helps and uh thanks so much for calling in does that answer your question yeah it does thank you so much all right well listen you stay on the line and we'll get you a couple of cds a couple of books for calling in and thank you jeff and you be blessed there in washington and let's go now to ed in apache junction arizona hello ed Hello, uh, Jeff and uh, Brad. My question has to do with uh, the two-part question. It depends how the first part is answered. Second uh, Corinthians 5, 8, to be absent from the body is present with the Lord. And if I were to die today, I'd be with the Lord, which is okay with me. But let's go to First uh, Thessalonians 4, 16. And you read that passage, and it has, part of that passage is, says, and the dead in Christ will rise first. So my question is, and this is where my confusion lies, what kind of existence would I have if I died today? That's a, that's a great question. Um, and I'll tell you, uh, let me just, let me give an illustration. Let's, let's pretend that you on your hand is a glove. All right, you got a glove, and the glove is over your hand. Now, as long as your hand is in that glove, the glove is animated. It moves. It moves because the hand moves it. Now, in my illustration, the glove represents your body, and the hand represents your soul. Now, as long as our soul is in our body, we are animated. We are alive. We talk. We move, we have a life, we eat, we sleep, all right? But when the soul leaves the body, then that body is no longer animated. It goes completely limp, and we say that it dies, all right? Now, here's what Paul is saying. He's saying, if I were to die, I would go immediately, that is, my soul would go into the presence of the Lord, the hand. But the glove... The body goes into the ground, okay? Now, what your soul is doing in heaven until the rapture of the church and until your body is called out of the grave, we only have hints in the Bible. I wish I knew more. Um, but you can rest assured you're with Christ. You're resting in Christ. You're fully conscious and aware that you are in heaven. Uh, you, you, you're there but your body is not. Now, it's easy to also remember that when Jesus was in his tomb, all right, the Bible says he died on the cross. He was as dead as any man was ever dead. His body was dead. So the glove was dead, but the hand was in the presence of the Lord, was in heaven, because Jesus sold the thief on the cross today, today, this day. You will be with me, where? In paradiso, paradise. So Jesus said, I'm gonna to die today on the cross. My body is gonna go into a tomb, but I am going to go into paradise. And you, thief on the cross, because you believed on me, you're gonna be there with me. So then on Easter morning, Jesus' soul returned to his body and he was resurrected with a glorified body. It walked through closed doors and, and then ate something on the other side of that door. It was a supernatural body. He appeared out of nowhere. He appeared to the two men on the road to Emmaus. He appeared to the disciples when they were uh, hiding behind locked doors. Um, he would suddenly just be there. 
He had this glorified body, no more subject to pain. Of course, Jesus never was sick, never had any kind of a disease, but he certainly experienced pain. And he certainly experienced sorrow because he was called a man of sorrows and well acquainted with grief. So he had emotions like we do. He had pain like we experience, but his glorified body no longer. Now your reference to 1 Thessalonians 4, and then I'll go to Brad for more comments. 1 Thessalonians 4 is all about the resurrection of our bodies from the grave. And the Bible says, at the sound of the last trumpet and the shout of the archangel, the dead in Christ will rise and they will instantly be given a resurrected Los vecinos le dieron muchos caramelos. Did you know 311 can also help with your mental issues? If you're a tenant living. Hope to so many people. I pray that my life will honor my hero and that every soul their transplant recipients touch are accounted to them in heaven. I would also like to thank the amazing doctors and staff at Baylor Scott and White in Dallas. My cardiologist, Dr. Bindra. And my surgeon, Dr. Enter, made miracles happen that saved my life. Every staff member went above and beyond and continued to offer the best of care post-transplant. Most of all, I want to thank Jesus for giving me eternal life and every moment I remain here to serve him. Finally, thank you for supporting the good contractors list and the wonderful contractors we trust to serve you. Be blessed. Get ready. It's time for SAGU's Fall Campus Days. Parents, you're invited to bring your high school age students October 27th and 28th to tour the campus in Waxahachie. Connect with current students, experience dorm life, and much more. Also, how to find it. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Some fun events they got lined up here. They're going to do their um, worst eating contest. Like bratwurst, as in bratwurst. Uh, they're going to have the leader hosing contest. They're going to have the uh, Stein hoisting contest, plus much, much more. If you want to see the complete list of events, go to MunsterChamber.com. And I'm going to be out there coming up on Saturday from 11 in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon, getting things kicked off for that uh, Saturday. Live entertainment, I believe I'm going to be set up right next to the uh, stage outside. That's where I was for uh, uh, German Fest earlier this year. So I hope to see you guys out there. And we're wrapping up your Drive of Five, brought to you by Old Red in the Doghouse out in Tishomingo, where they have live entertainment seven nights a week, seven days a week, during the day and in the evening for lunch and for dinner. See a complete lineup at oldred.com. Take a look at their uh, delicious menu items as well. Even sign up for their um, email blast, where you can uh, get some exclusive offers and updates on events as well. Oldred.com slash Tishomingo. We got more music coming up. We'll take a look at your country music news next hour as well. And we got another keyword for you. October is going to be spooktacular as Texoma's favorite bovine is back with tons of cash for you. And this ain't no trick or treat smell my feet. The KKAJ Cash Cow Contest presented by Billy Flea Ford, Tadpoles Marine, and by... Carter's Grill at the Holiday Inn, Daniel's Collision, Crazy Red's Mobile Home, and Weekend Keywords by Solly's Collision on 95.7 KKAJ. It's time to get out and play with a Kawasaki KLX motorcycle. Whether you off-road, dual sport, or super moto, every bike in the KLX lineup delivers thrills to new and experienced riders alike. For a wide range of terrain, trail, or street, there's a perfect bike. The world is your playground on a KLX motorcycle. Kawasaki KLX, get out and play. Start with Power Sports in Gainesville, just off I-35. For online, anytime at StarWithPowerSports.com. My name is Ken. I'm a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation. I quit smoking using the Oklahoma Tobacco Helpline. Smoking was a huge part of my life for over 30 years. I became so tired of it taking time and money away from the things that were important to me. I had to take action. 
I called the Oklahoma Tobacco Helpline. The helpline gave the support I needed to finally quit. If I can do it, anyone can. Call the Oklahoma Tobacco Helpline at 1-800-QUIT-NOW or visit okhelpline.com. A program of TSET. Oh, hey, about to start a load. On hot? You know, washing in cold water with Tide can save you up to $150 a year on your energy bill. $150? The lower the temp, the lower your bills. Simple. Turn to cold and get $15 when you bundle Tide and Downy. Energy savings based on average from switching from hot to cold in non-AG machines. Must buy at least one participating Tide or Drift detergent item, plus at least one participating Downy or Bounce scent booster liquid fabric softener or dryer sheet. Prepaid card by mail. Visit PGLaundryRebate.com for terms and conditions. What did 9 out of 10 people who died from COVID have in common? They were 50 or older. And if you have a condition like heart disease or diabetes, your risk is even higher. COVID vaccines lower the risk of death. Get your updated vaccine now. It could save your life. We can do this. Find updated COVID vaccines at vaccines.gov. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. Tim McGraw, Faith Hill, Shania Twain. Yeah, we've got them. Let's go. Tim McGraw, Shania Twain, Faith Hill, and a whole lot more. Texoma's country leader. 95.7 KKAJ.
De Dallas o Forward. O fue... Me caíste con... I have a whack in the left lane as it back.
Give your $30 a month gift now on your phone or tablet at airone.com or call 888.
구회전입니다. 3회 1마일 앞에서 구회전입니다. 